What's up everybody? It's Logic Bomb 82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today we're going to show you how to set up Forge, some mods, and a resource pack all on your Minecraft client. First thing you need to do is download everything. I've already done that. Um, just Google Minecraft Forge client and find uh, some place that you consider safe to download it. Download the, the latest version or the recommended version and for whatever client you're running on Windows or whatever. So download that. Uh, there's many, many sites that offer different uh, resource packs. Just grab whatever resource pack you want to use. Make sure it matches the version of Minecraft you're running and the version of Forge. And then do the same for the mods. So I've grabbed several, here, several of them here, and I'm going to show you how to get all this installed. I like to put everything on folders to keep it all nice and neat. But first thing you want to do is you want to launch your Forge installer. Doing this because I have it in a zip file. That's fine. You just probably won't do that. So when it loads, it's going to pop in a window like this. You can install a client, a server, or you can extract. Today we're going to do a client, so just go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to download some files, and it's going to tell you successfully installed. So that's what you're looking for. That's perfect. Next thing you need to do is you need to actually launch your Minecraft client. Now you will see a drop down here. So yours is going to look like just the latest version. You want to you want to click on the Forge version right here, and then hit the play button. And what that's going to do is it's going to download some extra files that and install the Forge client for you. So I've already done it, so I'm not going to click it now. But you want to do that, and you want to launch into the game itself. So wait for it to download and finish, and then exit out of the game. So what that does is that creates a couple folders that you're going to need. So next you need to go down to the search bar on your computer and type in percentage app data percentage. You can also get there by going to your C drive, your users, whatever client account you're logged in with with Minecraft installed. You should see a folder called app data right here. Roaming, and then you'll see dot Minecraft folder. From there, this is where we're gonna install the mods and the resources. So I've downloaded all of them here. All you have to do is drag the mods into the mods folder over here. So all the mods are the ones that are .jar files. So I have several installed already. You just want to drag them from your folder or wherever you have them stored at, download them, and drop them into that mods folder. For the um, resource packs, which is your .zips, you want to grab it and drag it over into the source packs folder. There you go. Now we're going to launch the game, and I'll show you how you actually apply all this. Now launch the game again. Make sure it's set to the Forge client. Hit play. It's going to take this a second. It's initializing everything. should load right in and you should see down here where it says powered by forge which is what you want so if you click on the mods button you should see the mods that you dragged over listed in here and then to do the resource pack go options resource packs and you'll see them here that you have installed um, whichever one you want to grab over here you just hit the over button and have it on top here and then hit done and this is going to pause for a certain amount of time as it loads all of it in don't worry your mouse will still move usually, but wait for it. And then once it loads in, everything's going to start looking different. And now you see we have the skin applied. And now you're good to go. You have your mods and your skins applied, and you're ready to play with them. So I hope the video helped you. Please visit my website, minecraftunion.com. Hit the subscribe button on the channel, and join the community and help me grow. We also have a Minecraft server up, so if you're looking to play on a multiplayer server, feel free to hop in. Thanks for watching, everybody.